Hi everyone, and congratulations to the grad class of 2020. My name is Greg Clausen, and I'm the youth pastor here at the Hepburn MD Church. And I'm excited to be able to share these next few minutes with you. I love this community. I love living here. I love the way the community seems to be lived out day to day. Seeing the same people at the co-op getting groceries, going for a walk in the evening, or cheering on a high school sports team. It's been a privilege to get to know so many of these grads this year over the past few years. Whether it's through coaching community soccer or through our junior and senior youth groups. See, our youth groups have always tried to be a place where anyone and everyone can come and find a safe community and have a positive experience with an opportunity to meet Jesus. And we do this through a lot of fun games, through teaching and sharing our personal faith stories, and through discovering the Bible and worshiping together. Our little youth group community has a wide variety of youth in it, all who seem to like different parts of being together. And I love that diversity. So now over the next few minutes, I want you to get a chance to meet some of these youth that myself and our youth leaders have, have gotten to know. This group of 14 grade 12s is only half of the grads of Hepburn. And we equally look forward to celebrating all of those who have accomplished this milestone in the coming days. But the group that I want to recognize right now have all made this small little community here that gathers in this building we call the workshop, their community. And we've benefited greatly from their presence and their influence. It's bittersweet to celebrate them now as it also means they won't be a part of our group next year, but the impact they have had will remain a lot longer. A favorite memory or part of youth group was when we had a Bible study here at the church and we went through um, a book called The Quest and it was really awesome to go through. I've applied a lot of it um, in schoolwork and um, through different sections of my life. One person that impacted me at, while I was at youth was Kelsey Lynn. She was my small group leader in grade 9 and 10. And I've known her otherwise through babysitting as well as um, through uh, BBS. And it was also just fun to get to know her and how much she's encouraged me with my walk in my faith. Um, yeah, in the next few years, I'm hoping to go to Columbia Bible College to take their one year program called Columbia One. And after that, I'm planning to go to university to pursue a um, business degree or become an architectural technologist. Hi everyone, my name is Caleb Sixten. And a favorite memory of mine of youth is just being, just being a part of the worship bands that Greg puts together and just worshiping with the church, getting to evolve in my music. Uh, two people that have impacted me while I was a part of youth, and more specifically junior youth, were Luke Bushman and Tyler LeBrush, two of my youth leaders at the time. They just helped me through a lot of hard times and keeping me happy in areas where I felt otherwise not. And, just helped me learn a lot about God in the time. In the next few years, I hope to get a business degree from Briarcrest and maybe further uh, a law degree from the University of Saskatchewan. Hey Caleb, uh, it's your boy, Luke, rocking a mullet for you. Um, <laughs> I'm proud of you, Caleb, because you have the biggest heart. You've overcome a lot with your uh, cerebral palsy, and um, I remember this one time you were in my cabinet camp, it was just awesome, and you talked about how you're able to use that to connect with uh, people who had different kinds of disabilities, and how you um, were able to connect with people through that, and show them love through that, and also that you were thankful that you were in a position where you were able to do that. And I just think that's just so amazing, it just shows the big heart that you have, that you have 
um, such a big heart that you take something that is difficult for you and you make it something great. Um, and I still remember talking to you about this and being like, wow, this like 16 year old kid is out here loving people um, through all the things that he's going through. And so I think, yeah, when I think of you and the thing I'm proud of most of you, Caleb, is that you are just so kind and loving to people. Um, people with different uh, problems in their life also to people like me you're such a nice kid to me <laughs> it was so nice being your youth leader um, so yeah and so one thing I hope for in your future Caleb is that uh, you continue to get to be around people that you continue to spend time with others that you continue to have people pour into you and you continue to like I don't know make everybody's life around you better because that's just uh, what you do and I've been so blessed um, just to get to know you through being your youth leader so Thank you so much, Caleb, and congrats on graduating. Hi, everyone. My name is Gabrielle Pillipo, a favorite part or memory of youth group was the year-end parties or just goofing around with them a block. Um, one person that impacted me was Tiffany Bella. She was my small group leader and she always helped me through youth and uh, away from youth. She, I could text her and know that she was there. And in the next few years, I hope to be a continuing care assistant or working hard to become a nurse in Edmonton. I may as well let you know what some of my favorite memories from youth are because uh, man there's quite a few of them but I gotta say some of the best moments of youth are just some of the fun memories you make playing the games right like cankles you know you go you touch people's ankles I was always good at that game that's my jam and uh, going on retreats uh, but I gotta say if I had to pick my favorite memory Ah yes, my favorite memory would probably have to be being the gargoyle in the game Gargoyles, my favorite game. It's a pretty good game, you uh, smack people with a sword, always a fun time, and uh, just get to scare people in the dark, it's fun. Although, I guess you can't really talk about youth without talking about the people there. And I, I gotta say, some of, the, some of the big influences of my life would have to be probably... Adam for inspiring me to try my best to get as many high scores on this stupid game system that I've wasted so much of my life on. As well as Greg for popping by after my surgery and just making sure I'm doing okay. It's a, it's a good man right there. But really, all of them have a special place in my heart. Now what do I want to do in the next few years? That is a tough question. I want to travel. And, uh, I want to, uh, ooh, what do I want to do? <laughs> we'll see what the future has in store. God will be my guide, I promise you that. Thanks to the people here <laughs> who have guided my journey in faith. Thank you, and good night. I gotta get a world record now. Hello everybody, my name is Alex Bolt. 
And one of the favorite memories I had or a part of youth group was growing up was probably playing gargoyles in the dark. Or the sword game, you know, with the table in the middle and everybody sat around in a big old circle, grabbed the sword off the table, tried to whack the other person where to sit down. That was always a fun game, except I didn't get to play it very often because I hit people with the sword too hard. Anyway, moving along. Uh, one person that impacted me a lot was at youth was Luke Martins, and that's a big, big old thing because he introduced me to uh, music like, like Christian rap music, Christian rock music, a bunch of other stuff that I didn't even know existed at the time. Showed me some pretty cool bands and rappers and whatnot, artists, and made my musical taste more diverse and just way better. And in the next few years, I'll be attending Thrive Bible College next year, and then from there, I'll just we'll see what the future holds, you know. Uh, not really sure what I'm gonna do with the whole, you know, global pandemic disaster going on right now. But I'm sure we'll get through it and we'll find something in the future that I'll eventually get good at. What's up, Alex? I uh, wanted to encourage you and congratulate you on your graduation. Yeet, yeet, bottle ski, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm proud of you, so proud of you for uh, how far you've come and and how much uh, you've matured as a man of God in the in the past couple years you know since uh, we really hit it off and uh, when I was like in grade 11 or something back in the beginning days for Akashi you know you've come such a long way man and uh, I see that every day um, just in my interactions with you and phone calls and everything uh, I'm so proud of you for that man um, uh, one thing that I hope for, for your future is, is that uh, God will do just amazing things uh, for you and in you at Thrive and uh, that you would um, be up for the challenge that, that Thrive will bring and uh, yeah man, uh, learning to be an adult and everything of course is going to be a challenge, got highs and lows man but I'm praying and rooting for you the whole way and God's gonna do amazing things through you. Uh, so proud of you, bro. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Haley Bukert and I've been a part of youth for a few years and uh, we do a lot of fun things. And um, One of my favorite memories would probably have to be uh, going on the retreats and going to SOAR and uh, playing all the games that we do and it just gives a chance for everyone to let loose and enjoy, you know, having fun with people that they don't normally see or talk to. And, um, at SOAR especially, uh, we got together with different churches and, you know, there was a whole different variety of people and it was really fun to get to know some of them and uh, you hear all these impactful stories from normal people and it kind of just shows you how incredible things can happen to completely regular people. And my favorite person would probably be uh, Joy and Tiffany. They were my small group leaders and they both had very impactful stories and you know they struggled with things that they were very open about and it allowed everyone else to open up in the group and just be vulnerable and connect with others on a deeper level. And uh, in the next few years, I would like to say that I would get my life figured out, but you know, that's, you, know, you can't plan that. Um, but I hope to find a job that I love, and I hope it'll involve something like photography or art or just something in the creative field. But really, you know, who knows? Anything can happen. My favorite memory or part of youth group would have to be all like the I had to go to sleepovers and sleepover at the church was probably my favorite. One person that impacted me the most throughout the thing would probably be well, she's my aunt, so Tiffany and probably Greg. They both have helped a lot and have talked with me. And in the next few years I really hope to be able to work a few years 
and then maybe go to Bible college for you, and then go out to the university and become a forensic scientist. Hi everyone, my name is Joey. A favorite memory I have of, as a part of youth group is definitely when I was in junior youth, going to the Redberry retreat. It was just so fun. We, I made so many cool bonds with friends. And then as I've become a leader of junior youth, it's been cool to see that from the flip side, like being able to lead youth in these games and being able to show them the kind of things that I was shown. Um, one person that impacted me the most when I was in youth is definitely George Hembry. He's just, um, youth is really the place I met him and he's just always been such a big influence and mentor in my life since then and he's really shaped me into the man I've been today. And in the next few years I hope to just work full time, um, at least that's my plan for next year and then in years after I'm either going to go to school for computer engineering or I'm going to become a youth minister. Hey Joey. I'm proud of you for not only being someone who displays great loyalty and love to the people around you, but also for the young man you've become who can confidently be yourself and make your own choices. Something I hope for your future is that you'll be able to listen to where the Lord is calling you and be able to fearlessly follow the path set before you, while not forgetting to laugh freely and love deeply. My name is Salmi Jackson. I am a graduate here at Hepburn uh, School. And yeah, so we'll just dive right into it. Um, one of my favorite memories of youth group was probably SOAR. Uh, I went there last year and it was an incredible experience and I got to meet a lot of new people and just learn about, a lot about myself and God and it's just awesome. If anyone has the opportunity to go, then you should go. <laughs> um, one person that has impacted me while at youth was Kelsey Lynn. She was my uh, youth group leader, like my small group leader. Um, and it's just the talks we had and she was always very encouraging and yeah, she was a great small group leader and it's gonna be sad to not have that time anymore. Um, in the next couple of years, I'm going to be going to SAS Polytech uh, for the vet tech program. And yeah, I'm going to finish that in two years and however that's going to look in the fall. It's going to probably be mostly online learning, but I'm going to get through it. So yeah, bye. And one of my favorite memories of being at the youth is probably the Kadish trip because, like, those heated floors in the bathrooms, though, that you lay your clothes down before you go shower. When you get out, they're nice and warm. I walked in there one time, and Dakota is sleeping under a towel. I was very confused. His shirt was his pillow. I was like, what? And holy moly. And, like, one person that, like, impacted me the most is probably Greg because he was the one I kind of went to when I wanted to talk to people he's he's my he's my people person um in the next few years i don't want to be in school and i hope to not go back to school and i hope to never be in school again <laughs> and hopefully one day be a youth sponsor too because it, it's nice to impact people Hello, 
is Olivia and I'm here I guess to talk about my experience in junior and senior year. Um, my favorite memory or part of youth, I don't have a specific favorite memory but um, more like one whole part of youth. Uh, I always loved the Kadish retreats. I think I went on two of them. Um, one in my grade 12 year and one in my grade 10 year. And uh, I just loved the staying overnight with uh, a big group of people and um, getting to hang out with a diverse group of friends rather than um, just picking and choosing who I wanted to hang out with. I got to uh, experience new things with new people that were always around me and I just didn't notice them before. Uh, one person that impacted me while I was at youth, I don't think I can narrow it down to one person. There were many people that impacted me. They encouraged me, they impacted me positively. Um, I have uh, small moments with specific people uh, that are just great and uh, they stick in my mind uh, to this day. Um, in the next few years, I hope to go to the U of S to complete my Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in history and then get my master's in history. That's the plan. Um, and then hopefully in two years from now, I'll be able to move out and uh, live with some friends. That's the plan, but plans change. Um, I also hope to keep doing uh, junior youth leading. That is a big, it's been a big help in my uh, Christian faith as I don't always find myself going to church. Um, so it really helps me to connect with young kids and uh, to help them grow in their faith. And in that way, it helps me and it shows me how to be a better teacher and a better disciple of God. Hi everyone, my name is Kyle. Uh, favorite memory of mine from youth group here would be my grade nine year. We went on a mission trip uh, in Saskatoon here called SOAR. Uh, yeah, so probably the best part of that week was how they crammed 20 of us guys into this tiny room where we bar could barely even walk in it. We, there was just no space at all. And yeah, we became really close to all those guys there and it was an amazing experience. Uh, one person that impacted me uh, while I was here at youth would be George Henbury. Uh, yeah, he was just always there and he would always go out of his way to do different things with us, uh, whether it was here uh, during youth or after youth for special events or whatever. And yeah, he's just always been there and he's a great influence and role, role model of how to be a Christian guy and still able to have fun. Uh, in the next few years, I'm planning on going to Columbia Bible College and to hopefully get a bachelor's degree in youth work. Kyle, I'm proud of you for your huge servant heart. You're willing and able to step up and serve in any situation. Not as a begrudging individual, but as someone who is dependable and can persevere through anything. For your future, I hope that you can find a place where you truly thrive. For a place that uses your skills and abilities well, and gives you life and joy in the day to day. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Dylan Ham or Delfer. You could uh, you could also call me uh, call me that. Um, a fa a fair memory or part of youth group was when uh, it was when I was in small groups. We went to a a, 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 a Apex like three times. And then um, I also like that time when uh, when George had brought over like those like those giant homemade hammers and swords and those and, and those kinds of things. Uh, one person that impacted me in youth was probably uh, uh, was probably Mike. 
because he's in his 30s or 40s or somewhere close to a, a, a close to that. And then when when and then a, 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 um, Apex, he was in he, he was in my group, and he went jumping every time, and I never saw him uh, uh, stop though. And then um, in the next few uh, few years, well, uh, I actually have three things for those. Uh, um, Isaac, my uh, bestest friend and me, we have two we have two trips of planned out, but unfortunately we can't go on those right now because of, because of COVID. And then uh, like um like like we plan to go to the uh, to the travel lodge for one night because you got like that brand new big water slide park there. And then the and then for half a week we want to go to the uh, West End West End Mall do some fun stuff there. And my third thing is that I plan to I plan to hopefully find a, a, a relationship sometime soon. But what I'm gonna do for that is that, is that I'm, I'm just gonna work through a, work through life and take it when the uh, 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 opportunity comes. Thanks to all these gods for letting me put together a video to celebrate them. This might not be your first choice of how to do it, but I think it worked out pretty well. Our church in this community, we celebrate you. All the lunch fundraisers, the community bottle drives, the building of this amazing place for you to have your own as your own, you're worth it. All these things we can look back on and say, you're absolutely 100% worth it. Even if there's a few frustrating moments along the way, even if a few of these remaining hairs decided to abandon ship at your expense, you're worth it. And now there's so much more ahead of you than what's behind. And there are a lot more choices that you're gonna to have to make in your life that are up to you. Starting now, your decisions about who your friends are, what to do with your time, the kind of people you date, how you handle money, and how you treat other people all have a big effect on the quality and the direction of your life after high school. Maybe that's exciting for you, and maybe that's a bit terrifying for you. But let me help and take some of the pressure off. Making decisions for yourself is not the same as making decisions by yourself. And particularly, I want to speak for myself and the rest of our youth leaders here. Even if you've graduated, there's always room for a good burger and a good conversation and will continue to cheer for you, and to pray for you, and to offer advice and whatever wisdom we can give you, just as some of our leaders and those that impacted you have already shared. We care about you. Thanks for being a part of this little youth group and for living in this community. And on behalf of our church and all those that are gonna watch this, congratulations to the class of 2020. We are so proud of you and can't wait to see what happens next. Let me leave you with a blessing from scripture that's close to my heart. Found in the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 24. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you peace.